Okay, guys, after the video, don't forget to click on my name in the video description below. Head on over to my site and click on the video tab and check out the other archived videos. I have over 100 plus videos on my site. So anyway, enjoy the video and thank you for uh, thank you for your time. Okay guys, welcome back to the Jack of All Trades. Today we're going to be trying to get ourselves some red hot lump charcoal. The purpose of this video is to see if we can maintain our lump charcoal red hot for more than an hour. Um, this becomes a challenge when uh, you're cooking chicken and potatoes and certain types of foods where you need constant heat over a long period of time and the charcoal um, usually the briquettes, they usually last less than an hour and I'm not too sure about the lump truck. I haven't had any much luck on this. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try this out with a product that I just purchased recently. So I'm just putting the uh, paper towels underneath. Just uh, I guess some people said the flyer paper, the ink causes, it's not good for the environment. So I'm just going to light these up real quick. Get them started. Okay, this is the Barbecue Dragon. Purchased this at Canadian Tire. Uh, thought I'd give it a try. I've seen some videos online about it, but uh, they only show you how to use this to get the coals started. But for me, I'm actually gonna use this during the whole cook to keep the coals red hot. This is important when uh, using a converted gas barbecue where there's not a lot of airflow. Inside you get the one device Looks like this The owner's manual it's just stuck up above the handle I'm not going to show you that I like the uh, metal swivel neck It's got a nice solid handle and at the bottom here is the uh, place where you put your batteries so these are the batteries it takes. It takes four of them to run it. Now when I use this during the video, I had to go through two sets of batteries because it seems like the fan chews them up real fast. After about 45 minutes, you're going to be putting in a whole new set of batteries. So the handle comes with uh, a USB power insert part. So it's the same type of USB connector on your cell phones. So you can plug that in and then uh, not have to use batteries at all. So if you're cooking for long periods of time, I suggest you use the USB power, but it doesn't it doesn't come with a power adapter. But you can just get a standard USB cable with the uh, Nexus or whatever Galaxy Samsung power end on it. It works fine. So I'm going to point these at the base because I want the airflow to go from the bottom up. The manual does say don't point it directly at the coals. So we're going to do that. We're going to point it on the side here and this should speed it up. Getting these things nice and hot. Without it, it's going to take a little longer, but with this, it, it, it goes pretty quick. So if you want to see uh, videos on that, go on YouTube, but that's not what this video is about. So it attaches to the grill nicely. It's got a little switch to control the speed. This is important if you want to control the heat flow when you uh, have the lid closed. We'll show that later in the video. Uh, you can adjust the, the speed based upon how hot you want the coals. And uh, I like the idea that it's made of metal, so it won't melt. There's no plastic parts inside. So I'm just gonna dump these in. This is my favorite part. They always look good when you first dump them in, but they don't seem to uh, maintain their redness over a long period of time. That's what this product's for, is to help you uh, maintain your red hot coals. We're just dumping it on the plate. This is a gas barbecue from Broil King. It's been converted to a charcoal barbecue. I prefer the charcoal over the gas anyway because of the flavor. Look at those coals. Man, those look beautiful. 
Now here's the challenge after pouring these in. This is the easy part. Getting these things to last over a long period of time is the hard part. So I'm going to show you with this video how to do it. And the trick is when you close the lid, you're starving the coals from oxygen. There's no air vents in this barbecue, so that's not good for your coals. So you're going to need some type of airflow over the coals. And this is where the uh, Dragon Barbecue uh, comes in handy. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Now I got three potatoes on. A trip, uh, tip for potatoes is microwave them for eight minutes, cut them up in slices, just like you would, uh, oh, what do they call those things? Uh, potatoes, uh, and then you're gonna put butter on them. And uh, we're gonna be cooking them for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna flip them for 20 minutes. And we're gonna be trying to shoot for a 210 degree Fahrenheit internal temperature of our potatoes. This is the first time trying this, so let's see if I can actually do a good job. Just going to position this over the coals. You'll start to see the coals increase in the redness. And then I'm just going to close the lid and hold it open with a spatula. Just like that. Just get that out of the way. And, uh... This thing does have a temperature gauge on it. It went up to 400 degrees, so I'm assuming if you turn the dial down and limit the airflow, you can decrease the temperature of the coals by regulating airflow, so that looks good. Now that's amazing. That lid is closed, and look how hot those coals are. They stay that way for an hour plus. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So like you can cook chicken, anything like any heavy type of meat that needs to be cooked through you can easily do it with this uh, product okay so now we got some corn here rubbed it out in all olive oil salt and pepper gonna take take uh, put it in tin foil I guess you can cook it with the covers on too but I'm just going to do it in tempo. It seems a lot easier. What we're shooting for here is 10 minutes and then flip it and 10 more minutes on the other side. And you want to poke the kernels until the juice flies out and then they're done. Let's open it up. Now that we're at the 20 minute mark, I'm going to flip our potatoes. I guess what I meant by uh, cut potatoes is scallop potatoes. So you're going to cut them like scallops, but put them back together. And like I said, if you do that, it'll allow them to cook better. Place our corn on the grill. So I find 20 minutes of potatoes, then put the corn on. And uh, now that the corn's on, we're going to close the lid again. 10 more minutes. Reposition our uh, barbecue dragon. Having that flex neck really works good. And we're just going to go inside and uh, get the mushrooms and onions ready. So I got some mushroom onions with butter and uh, minced garlic. Cook it in the frying pan, get ready to put on top of the steaks. Got our spices. Now you're going to want to make sure your uh, steaks are at room temperature before putting them on the grill. Now we're at 30 minute mark. I'm going to flip our corn. But leave our potatoes in the same position. Pull out our steaks. Put them on the grill. Look pretty good there. Now we're gonna wanna grab our, our spices. Put some cracked pepper on top. Get 
Got some uh, sea salt. A little bit of sea salt on there as well. And we got our onion powder. A little bit of onion powder on there. You can put whatever spices you want on there, but this is what I put on. And then some garlic powder. And just a little bit of seasoning salt to top it off. Now we're going to cook the steaks for three minutes. And then we're going to flip them and cook them another three minutes. And we're going to sear the outsides to keep the juices in. We're, we're uh, shooting for a medium rare here. Now three minutes is up. We're going to flip them. We don't want to burn them. So that's what they look like after three minutes. Looking pretty good. Maybe you guys might learn something on cooking multiple items at the same time with this video. And there you go. The thermometer is reading 202 inside the potatoes. We want to get to 210. They're pretty much done. Five more minutes and we're pretty much good. And the coals after close to an hour are still red hot. Cog seems to be working pretty good. Now as you see I already put the steaks on their sides. This is going to keep the juices in by searing the fat on the outside of the steak. And now we're going to show you what's like like the corn's done now, it's been on for 20 minutes. What you just want to do is you just want to poke in one of the kernels and it should just pop and there should be some little juice that comes out. And then it's done. So that's what you're shooting for. So there you go guys, a little bit of garlic bread in the oven. I got a corn, potato, medium well done steak. Medium done, uh, sorry not medium, yeah medium steak, mushrooms and onions on top, and baked potato. This is my first time doing this on the barbecue, and check this out, it just falls apart. Beautiful. So if you guys like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment, and look for more wonderful videos to come. Thank you for watching guys.